So, ladies and gentlemen, an unexpected event that took place in my life eight days ago and left me with broken bones. And in this video, we shall all relive those eight days. But, starting at day one. So at this point, you're probably wondering, Curtis, why do you look like you've been punched by an old lady? Uh, I haven't. Whose nan is going around battering 20 year olds. But rest assured, in this video, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be reliving the last eight days of my life. And now things went terribly wrong. But as you just saw, ladies and gentlemen, that was indeed me at the hospital at 12 a.m. in the morning. And I ended up leaving there at 6 a.m., which is odd because I felt like killing myself more in that moment than I did when I first actually arrived. And you know, my injury was pretty bad, which is why they assigned me to a bed surrounded by people who looked like they were dying. So, ladies and gentlemen, there I was, waking up feeling like a million dollars. Walked over to my wall as I do every morning and stared at it. No, I do it for a reason. It's because I'm imagining my 100k play button being right there in that moment. Which is gonna happen, by the way. And you know what? Then I'll hit 200k. But Curtis, it's not gonna happen. Okay. Now, even though the sun was shining and I felt like a million bucks, couldn't help but notice this strange feeling I had brewing in my stomach. Some would say I really needed a shit, but it wasn't that. It was like a, it was like a gut feeling, you know? Didn't need a poo. Now I went down my stairs and looked at the calendar, pretending like I actually have a life, but then I realised... <gasps> today was football. And you know, this is something that we all agreed to in the house. We were going to play football in a league that we paid to play in. And uh, it's going to be very low level to begin with. You know, just like a bunch of melts who's never really kicked a ball before. But we paid to enter a league and play every week, working our way up the ladder. And honestly, didn't really feel like going today. Uh, there was something in my gut saying... Uh, Curtis, don't go to football today. It's a bad idea. And I was like, oh. Well, I... I didn't ejaculate. That, that's, that's just, uh... But after that point, I kind of realized, oh, shit. I'm going to be losing that on money. <gasps> do I go? Do I not? Do I go? Do I not? <gasps> what about the money? <gasps> what, 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 what do I do? <laughs> I'm losing my mind. However, two hours before football, the feeling started settling in. There was just something not right about going to football. So I went anyway. And there we were, all snuggled up in the back. Luke slightly touching my right leg for some odd reason. I don't know why. And honestly, at this point, I was completely dissociated. Um, I was on a different planet. And then finally, the present me arrived at football, walked to a pitch, and had a little warm-up. And I did tell them, you know, we could have just played football to warm-up. We didn't exactly have to rub each other down with oil, but, you know, shit happens. And what can I say? When I saw the other team, I realised, by far, we are the best team in this league. And then, ladies and gentlemen, it was time for some footy. But before we see what happened to me, I'm not really feeling like a million dollars. So I thought, why not, you know, wear something that makes me feel like a million dollars? And that's why today's sponsor is Pouch. So I want to save money online, but I don't want to have to spend a lot of money to feel like I have a lot of money, which is why I'm using this fantastic desktop slash laptop extension, Pouch. This is a browser extension that automatically finds and applies the best discount codes in your shop and online, saving you time and money, and believe me, that's just marvellous. You know what's even better? This browser extension is absolutely free. It's like they're just handing out money. Take it, man, just take it. Take the money. As I was saying, check this magnificent purchase out. So I found this blazer on the Boohoo Man website and already, pouch automatically pops up without me having to do anything and saved me money. £7.88 to be exact. It's just unbelievably good. But I don't like silly little blazers. Well, not to worry, because Pouch offers their services on over 3,000 different websites. And let me tell you, that's a lot of 3,000. So follow the link on screen or click on the link in the description and start saving your moolalas today. And the best part is installing it only takes a few clicks. So get on it right now. One last thank you to Pouch. They've been amazing. Uh, install their extension because by you installing it, it's helping me make more money. That's just it. Do you care about me going homeless? Install it. No! <laughs> and with that said, ladies and gentlemen, on to today's video. So here we was playing our first game against a team who already had eight games more than us. And honestly, it was pretty much over then because why Why would I do? Why would I go against someone who's played more games than me? Like, oh no, it's, it's no excuse. You know, the grass was also slippery as well. And uh, I was wearing extremely tight shorts, which is why the rest of the team let me down because they were distracted by my ass. Now at this point, I was kind of feeling into it. Kind of forgot about the bad feeling. But by this point, ladies and gentlemen, it was already too late. Yeah. 
And believe me when I say this, that shit hit me hard. And if you don't know how quick everything happened, it was like a... Oh my god. P Prince Philip, is that you? Where am I? It's a like special move, isn't it? Someone comes in to tackle you and it's just a quick little foosh. Ah. Hey, 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 it's okay, calm down. We're not in the Vietnam War anymore. And honestly, as soon as that blow hit me, I felt like something was wrong. In my roommate Charlie's words, So one minute he's fine, and then I look back, and just blood pissing out of his nose. Like, literally, his whole entire kit just covered in blood. Is that alright? No, no, t t tell him I had superpowers. Uh, and and he he had superpowers too. Yeah, tell him, tell him I, I broke the guy's leg. Uh, yeah, and then and then he he broke the guy's leg. All right, all right. T t tell him that I flew away with the guy and I destroyed uh, him. And, and then he flew away with the guy and I destroyed him forever. Tell him how much of a badass. He is a proper badass. He is. He is a yeah, proper badass. It's all right. It's all See, the thing is, at this point, I wasn't really bothered by it. Um, I knew there was blood coming out, but I rubbed it off because I'm a man. However, then I got to the changing rooms and I looked in the mirror. My nose was on the right side of my face, and you can still kind of see it now, but the swelling's gone down. And when the swelling was there, my nose was literally more swelling on this side and less on this side. So it looked like my nose was way over on the right. Um, luckily, it's not as bad as it looked. Um, it doesn't look straight still. If you look, but you can see it's not directly. Um, but I'm still handsome, right, guys? And there was a lady working at this place who was extremely helpful. Um, yeah. She brought me individual ice cubes, individually wrapped in plastic bags, to put on my nose. Um, and for some reason, I trusted this woman with trying to click my nose back into place. But since I showed you that perspective, let me show it to you from my perspective the real story on how it went down. Watch where you're fucking going, mate. Who the fuck do you think you are? Failures for the weak. It's a game of footy, mate. A sport for real men. So yeah, that uh, that actually happened. And when this happened, I went straight to the hospital and I actually needed some paper towels for my nose. So we asked the security guard and he said, there is no paper towels. I don't know if the guy knew we were in a hospital. So instead, he handed me citrus Dettol wipes. That's a cleaning product. Probably get some sort of wild infection from that. That's terrible. Hi everyone. Oh, this is fucking broken. But I'm still looking at some, so it's all right. <laughs> I think you look beautiful, man. Personally. Mate, you're looking sexy. Oh, cheers, man. I appreciate all the looks, looking at. Oh, oh. No. clearly. They said no lights for videos. No lights for videos. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much the main story. Day two, I got home at 6 a.m. in the morning from the hospital and they subscribed me some wicked drugs. One morning, I woke up and um, I saw Obi-Wan Kenobi standing on the bottom of my bed. It was mental, to be fair. <laughs> Although that might have been the meth I smoked. Now, as you can see on screen, this was an image of me in a chicken shop uh, taking a picture of my broken-ass face. Um, didn't look very good. A lot of swelling. Looked like some sort of a alien from the planet. Jigramva. <laughs> That's how mad it was. And day three was pretty much the exact same. I had a bruise on my right eye and my face still looked like as if it'd been dragged through some sort of revolving door. It's the best I can describe it really. 
And at this point, I think I was worried about my girlfriend not loving me anymore. Which I was right to think about because she broke up with me uh, a couple of days later. Still really haven't got over it. In her words, it was something along the lines of, Out of all the body parts, it's a shame that your nose was the thing that got bigger. Don't know if that was something to do with my height or... I, I wouldn't know. I received my letter. I'm going to the hospital to get my nose uh, restructured. So I'll probably come out looking like Iron Man. Can't fucking wait. Time to blow some bitches up. And I'll skip ahead to day five. I was basically the nearest my nose would get to looking back to normal. I complained about it for a lot. Uh, a lot of the times. And then it was pretty much the same since. And I was day eight. <laughs> here I am. This is what I look like. But it's okay because I literally have pills right here for my... Perhaps these will help. Love your girlfriend. Penis enhancement pills! But yeah, that's how I'm holding up. My nose is broken AF. Um, but I'll be fine. Just want you guys to know that I'm still dabbing on. So I've just had uh, some anesthesia pushed up my nose. Um, it felt great, as you can tell. <laughs> you mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh. You mad, bro? Uh, 